Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be quizzing James on pregnancy slash birth terms to see <coughs> how smart he is. How no, smart I am. You're very smart. There's just so many things that you learn in the journey of pregnancy. Which you possibly haven't learned yet because we haven't done our birth course yet. Right, so there's a lot of things to learn and we're going to find out what I know. So how's this going to work? So I have all of the things I'm going to ask him on here with their definitions as well. Okay. And I'm just going to ask you if you know what they are. Okay. And if I get it wrong? Um, uh, <laughs> then you better listen when we have our birth course. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Okay. Are you all ready? Right. I'm ready, ready. Okay. Ready? So the first one is, what is colostrum? Cholesterol. Okay. <laughs> cholesterol. What is cholesterol? Well, no. there's okay, two wait, types of cholesterol. Here. There's good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. Yeah. <laughs> I've said colostrum a few times recently and he keeps saying cholesterol col or colostrum. Col and I'm like, it's not either of colostrum. them. Colostrum. Colostrum. Is, is that right? Okay. <laughs> colostrum is a, it's a substance that, a liquid form that comes from your breasts <laughs> when you are feeding the infant, when you are doing breastfeeding. And it comes before the milk. Oh. Uh, and it has a lot of nutrients and wow. good things for the baby. Colostrum. <laughs> are you treating this like it's a spelling bee or something? Yeah, it's like it's a game. <laughs> it's a game show. I'm, okay, that I'm was actually a really here. good answer yeah it is, is, it, is it correct it or? is essentially like the breast milk that comes before the breast milk so like you feed your baby with colostrum the first few days before your milk comes in colostrum the breast milk before the breast milk all right so i reckon we'll, we'll count that yeah of course all right one from one well 100 so far well what's next okay ready yeah i'm ready what is sympathetic pregnancy <laughs> Sympathetic pregnancy is when the woman has a difficult pregnancy and so she receives sympathy <laughs> from the people around her. Wrong. Yeah, I didn't think that was it. Sympathetic pregnancy is when the wait, guy... Wait, no, wait. Sympathetic... No, you got it wrong. Okay, okay all, right, all right. You get one chance. One chance. It's when the guy experiences like pregnancy symptoms. What? Yeah, so the guy can also experience like nausea or like bloating or like mood swings or whatever. So they can experience the guy. Well. Yeah. I did not know that was a thing. How common is this? I got no idea. It doesn't say on my card. <laughs> so one out of two. One out of two. What's right. next? Next one is what is a padsicle? A padsicle. A padsicle is a it's a, okay, padsicle is a instrument that they use during the birth and it's a way that they, they stick it up there <laughs> and it's a way of measuring how far the uterus has dilated and whether it's time for baby <laughs> There's so many things wrong with that sentence. Okay, ready? Yeah. Padsicle is like a frozen pad. Popsicle. So like, you know like what a pad is? <laughs> yeah, like for your period. Yeah. So you can freeze it, like you put like aloe vera or like witch hazel or something on it. You freeze it and it's for like after birth. You like, you can put it in your undies and it just kind of like relieves pain because it's painful down there after birth. It's like, it's like a cold you're towel. putting an ice pack on an injury except that like, you're basically making a pad an ice pack. Okay. Learn something new every day. <laughs> Okay, so one out of three. Okay, I think you'll get this one. Okay, what is post ovaries? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get that one. What is postpartum? Postpartum is after birth. Yes. Bow bow bow. Well done. Do you know how I know that? How do you know that? Because I have heard of terms like postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. Is that a thing? Yep. Sweet. Nice. Well Postpartum. Done. Well done. Two out of four. Okay, ready? No. Alright. Water break. 
What is pregnancy brain? Oh, that's obvious. That's such an easy one. I had to throw you a bone in there somewhere. Pregnancy brain is when, during pregnancy, the woman's cognitive abilities are impacted by the pregnancy. Symptoms may include brain fog, short-term memory loss, <laughs> um, forgetfulness. That's the same thing. <laughs> uh, when the woman's ability to think is impacted by the pregnancy because baby is draining her brain. I mean, I don't really know why, but yeah, that was like correct. Okay. Well done. Wait, how many? Five. We've done five. Am and I you've three got out of three five? Three right. Sixty percent. Please okay. get degrees. So far, you are passing. I'm ready for the next one. What is an epidural? An epidural is when it's painful during the birth. The mother can receive an epidural to give pain relief during the labor. Yes. Four out of six. I'm going very well. All right. What are Braxton Hicks? Braxton Hicks is... Gosh, I really have no idea. Braxton Hicks is... Can I have a clue? Yes. One of our friends was experiencing them at a wedding we went to recently. Fake contractions. Nice. Is it? Yeah, essentially. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, they actually are contractions. Wait, let me read down the um, definition. So it's like a type of contraction, which is also known as false labor pains. And it's the body's way of preparing for true labor, but they do not indicate that labor has actually begun. I can't believe I got that right. So some people like experience That was a complete, I'm not listening to you. That <laughs> was a complete guess. Five out of seven. What's that, 80 to 85%? I don't know. Okay. Maths isn't my strong suit. What is a breach position? Oh, breach is when the baby is in the wrong position and they're like this. <laughs> As opposed to what? Uh, like just being like spread out, like, oh. like with their legs down and stuff. The um, baby's feet were like up at its head and, and breaching. <laughs> so you're right that actually no you're wrong it's not like when they're like whatever you just did it's when brace the, position so basically if you want to have like a natural birth the head should be down the bottom because that's how the baby should come out a breech position is when the head isn't down the bottom and it's like butt or like it's like legs are down the bottom and it's heads up there oh so it's not really about being like it's not about them being um, like curled up or anything. It's just like about that. what's what's down the bottom. Yeah, it's about whether the head is like down the bottom or not. Okay, I think I got that wrong. You did get that wrong. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good actually. Yeah, you've done very well. Okay, what are baby blues? So when the baby's sad. <laughs> baby blues. Can I have a hint? You vaguely spoke about it before. Oh, postpartum depression. Yes. It's when the baby gives you the blues uh, um is it always post? it's like i want to say that baby blues is less intense than postpartum depression though okay so postpartum depression would be like full-blown kind of like you actually have like depression kind of thing mm. which people get but baby blues is actually really quite common four in five new parents experience it okay. so like a few days after birth you just have feelings of like being sad or like yep. being a bit down, yes. which a lot of people experience. Oh, so I think it's just like well. a hormone thing. It's for men as well. But it's not, it shouldn't be a lingering thing. I think once it becomes a lingering thing, it's like you should probably seek some medical advice and it might be postpartum depression. Okay. But it can affect either of the partners. Yes. What you're saying. Yes. We will very likely experience it at some point. Don't look forward to it. It'll be okay though. Okay. I mean, it's a really intense period of time and you're like lacking sleep and like your hormones are going crazy and oh my gosh. So, are we saying you didn't get that? Well, you're the judge. What um, do you guys think? I'll give you a half point. Okay, half. So, what's that? Five and a half? Yep. Out of nine? Yes. That's pretty good. Okay. I've already passed, even if I get this next one wrong. <laughs> but yeah, there's three, so you have to get some right. Okay. Okay, what is a tens machine? Never heard of that in my life. Do you want me to give you a hint? 
Is it an acronym? TENS? It is, but I don't actually know what it stands for. Uh, it stands for... <laughs> I'm not going to be able to tell you. Okay, I don't think I need a clue on this one as well. It's like also something that's used during labor. A TENS machine measures... <laughs> what do I always go to measure? Um, a TENS machine helps you be less TENS during the labor. Because <laughs> it's just really painful. Uh, I think I just have to take a, I have to take an L with this one because I've just got no idea. What does L mean? Like a loss. A loss. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm obviously not going to get it. It's basically yeah. another form of pain relief. So it's like this thing. Temporary, that <laughs> enduring, nice sensations. Um, I guess it makes it the sensations nicer, but oh, it's like this machine. Not that. You put on your back and it kind of like sends little like <laughs> electric waves that disrupts the nerves. Like the pain signals to your brain. Okay. okay. It's just a form of pain relief. There basically. you go. Okay. What is antenatal? I don't even know what natal means. There is like an opposite to the word that you did say before. Pronatal. No, that's not what you said before. Oh, um, postnatal. Yes, that's the opposite. Do you um, remember what postnatal was? Yeah, after birth. Mm -hmm. So that's a bit weird though. If antenatal means before birth, it doesn't really make sense. It should be prenatal. Oh, okay, what's... You made a mistake, did no, you? No, I didn't make a mistake. I just don't want to give it away. Like, I want you to lock in an answer. Um, antenatal is when you are against giving birth. Because <laughs> you're anti the natal. Is that your final answer? Well, it doesn't make sense to me. Because if it's the opposite of postnatal and postnatal is postbirth, then it should be prenatal. That should be before birth. Anti doesn't mean before. It means, like, against. So, I have... I don't know. Okay. Take what I told you and just run with it. It's opposite to that. Okay, it's pre-birth. Yes! What? That's a... Who came up with that? There are a lot of things in the English language that, 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 that like, don't... In the English language... <laughs> that, 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 that. <laughs> that don't make sense. Shh. I'm going to give that to you, even though I gave you help. Or maybe it's half. Well, if I gave you half, then you'd have two halves and it would make a whole. True. I'll give you half. Alright. Okay, this is the last one. Six out of eleven. Well, I've already got 50% guaranteed. Or, so, but, I'm have if you seven. don't get this one, then... Wait, does 50% mean that you still pass? Yeah. Oh, so you've passed. I've passed. Okay. We should have, like, organised a prize for you or something. Mm. A donut! Sorry. I got you a donut today. The baby is the prize, I think. Well, you're going to get the baby regardless of whether you pass or not. <laughs> okay, ready? The last one. What is... A. Peanut ball. Is this meant to be about pregnancy? <laughs> I'm sure peanut ball has multiple definitions. Technically speaking, peanut butter ball, perhaps. Um, peanut ball. Like a protein snack or something? <laughs> well, as in like peanuts. Like yeah. A peanut ball is... Can I have a hint? Um, okay, think about not the food, but the shape. Yep, yeah, okay, so a peanut ball is the size of the baby at the beginning of the pregnancy. At one week, the baby is a peanut ball. <laughs> it would take a few more weeks for them to be the size of a peanut, but it's a good guess, a creative guess, Okay. but it's wrong. Okay. <laughs> a peanut ball is essentially like an exercise ball, but it's shaped as a peanut. And it is an used. exercise ball the size of a peanut. No, it's shaped as a peanut. As in like, so it's got oh, like, you've got, got the no, two no, got sides yeah, and it kind of yeah. dips in the middle. For the woman when she's pregnant to use. Um, it's like for during labour. You can like put it between your legs. And it's especially helpful if you've had an epidural, which you know about now. I don't understand. <laughs> can I read it? Yeah. Oh, it is literally exactly what you said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, but you got that wrong. I got it wrong. So you got 50% right. Alright, let's tally up the scores here. And let's see the ones that I got right. Braxton Hicks, epidural, colostrum, postpartum, pregnancy brain, and two half points for antenatal, an, an, antenatal, <laughs> antenatal, and baby blue. So tallying up these points, how did I do in the end? You got 50%. 50%. Correct. 6 out of 12. I reckon that's not bad. Well done. What do you reckon? Well, 
done. I think it's pretty good. If we filmed this literally a week later, you would have got everything. I was right. feeling less confident prior to this, so I actually feel pretty good about that. Well done. Um, uh, although the ones that I didn't get, I do have to admit, like I literally had no idea. So that's you had some creative answers hard. though. I'm trying to think about it. Anyway, well that was a lot of fun. Hopefully that was entertaining <laughs> and maybe you learned something new about pregnancy as well. If there's something that you did learn, like me, why don't you write it down in the comments below. Uh, but otherwise, thanks for tuning in. We had fun. Hope you guys had fun watching this video and we will see you next time.